What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and we just got an update from CGC. They put out the list of books that are impacted, at least by this one known uh, scammer for this reholder scam uh, that's been going on. So we're going to go check that out, see what the uh, the release is from CGC. Check out some of these books because I did a, a just a quick look at the top and I was surprised what I saw. It was not what I was expecting. So let's go check these out. All right. So before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So like I've said in some prior videos, I'm not trying to make too many videos about this subject anymore. I feel like everybody really knows what's going on with it. There's plenty of content out there about it. But whenever there's updates, I think it's worthwhile to discuss. And this is an update that uh, got a, a message from Comic Ozzy. Go check him out on Instagram if you uh, if you haven't uh, followed him on Instagram or anything like that. He also does whatnot sales. But he sent us the post on Instagram from CGC where they had said that they've got the update now and that they've identified that it impacts approximately 350 books. And it's really, it's not necessarily the books that you probably think it's going to be. So let's go check out this post here. So if you go to the CGC homepage, you then go to news and you can see you've got this updated CGC and CGC comics statement on holder tampering incident. So let's go to this. We don't necessarily need to review everything here. Uh, if you're not aware, basically there was a issue where someone was reholdering books with CGC uh, in a way that the book that was inside was not actually what was originally graded. And so they were basically uh, passing through books that were lower grade as higher grades, getting them reholdered by CGC and then selling them to people. So uh, basically stealing from people, ripping people off, all that kind of thing. There's been a lot of videos out there about it, but this is an update here because one of the things that CGC said in their original release was that they were going to be providing a list of the impacted books, uh, at least the these, this known set of impacted books. So we've got the update here. Uh, the certified collectibles group is aware of an incident involving an individual tampering with CGC comic holders. Scroll below for a list of impacted certification numbers. So based on current information, we believe that approximately 350 books are affected. A list of the impacted books, you've got a little highlight here, has been posted on the CGC Comics website, and that's actually below. Uh, if you purchased one of the comics included in this list, you can submit it to CGC Comics for review. Instructions to submit the eligible books for review are below. If your book is determined to be correctly graded, it will be reholdered with a new certification number and returned to you at no charge. If your book is determined to be incorrectly graded, our support team will contact you. You may be asked to submit certain additional documentation as part of the review process. Uh, the list of impacted books will periodically be updated as books are submitted for review. Our goal is to remove all impacted certification numbers from the market and ensure that anyone who purchased one of the books is appropriately compensated for losses arising from any of our failures or from any failures in our services. Now, we don't necessarily know what appropriately compensated means. We don't know if it's fair market value that they'll give you for the book so that effectively you could go out and buy another one. I have no idea what that actually means. but. Down here, you've got the instructions for submitting eligible books for review, but I think the thing people are really interested in here is this books eligible for holder review. Now there's a search where you can actually search for your cert number, but the thing that really caught my attention was uh, some of these books that are on here. I mean, when we had seen these initial books that were being sold by the seller, at least identified as fraudulent. It was a lot of these really high census count books like Amazing Spider-Man 252, Secret Wars 8, Hulk 181, New Mutants 98, X-Men 266, books that have tens of thousands of copies on census. But right as you start scrolling down, you're seeing some, uh, some big books here. You've got an Amazing Fantasy 15, and it's got the year 1962. You know, it doesn't mean that these are fraudulent. You know, these could be legitimate books. What they may have done was just found any book this person submitted and you can send it in for a review. I can't say for sure. But, I mean, we've got an Amazing Fantasy 15 and you've got Amazing Spider-Man number one, two, th multiple copies of three, five, 13. I mean, it's just like first Vulture, first Doc Ock, first Spider-Man. I mean, 
Uh, you've got first appearance of Green Goblin, Amazing Spider-Man 14, uh, multiple copies of 50, first Kingpin. I mean, multiple copies of 129, then 194, uh, first Black Cat. That's one that we knew we had seen on there. And look how many, look how many of those there are. I mean, 194 just keep scrolling and, and it's still going. I mean, how many, let's see, how many are on a page? It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I mean, there must be about 50 copies of Amazing Spider-Man 194 that are part of this. I'm interested. I mean, 238 we knew was another big one. And this is the first time I'm seeing this. I have not scrolled. I, I saw the like issue two and amazing fantasy 15. And I was like, wow, okay. This isn't just the books that we thought it was. Uh, there's a lot more here. I mean, 238 first hobgoblin we knew was a big one that was part of this. And it's just like all these nine, eight universals. I mean, there's the Mark jewelers. I mean, that's almost certainly a, you know, a suspect book there. Um, but just so many nine, eight universals. And we've got the two fifty twos. Here's that Mark jewelers again, again, a bunch of nine, eight universals. Then we hit 300. Now, I had heard there were just a ton of 300s on there. I, somebody had mentioned that on the forum, that it was just a lot of 300s. So let's let's see how many might be on there. So that's one, two, three. Wow, four. I mean, maybe 80, 75 to 80 Amazing Spider-Man 300s that are part of this. Then, I mean, we're starting to get into just like some other Silver Age keys out here. Avengers 1, 57, Daredevil 1, Fantastic Four 2, 12, 45, Giant Size X-Men 1. I mean, this was a person that was dealing in very expensive books. And the question is, which one of these, you know, are these actually valid? Because it seems like this person was probably selling legitimately graded books as well as books that had this this scam done as part of them. I mean, here we've got the Hulk 181. I mean, at least there, let's see, is there, are there any nine? I don't think there's any, let's see if there, oh, okay, that's a 340. I was wondering if there's maybe a 98 Hulk 181. There isn't. Uh, I think the highest it looks like is a 94, uh, then 929, but about 18 or so Hulk 181s, a uh, bunch of Hulk 340s. We knew that was one that was used quite a bit. And uh, Marvel Superhero Secret Wars 8 again. And then you've got these like Canadian price variants. Those are probably suspect. The ones where you're going to get those big benefits in, in the adjustment or trying to bump a 9.4 to a 9.8, that kind of thing. I mean, just look at this. It's just 9.8, 9.8, 9.8. And then let's see. New Mutants 98. Tales of Suspense 39. I mean, first Iron Man. Let's see. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1. And that's that's probably... It doesn't say second print or anything. That's probably a first print. It's part of that. I was curious if there were, like, what else might be in here? The Wolverine 1 Campbell variant. I know that's one that was discussed. That's one of those, uh, the variants from, you know, you can see here around the 2010 period that goes for a huge amount of money. Uh, then X-Men 94. All right. So I know some people were wondering if uh, some uh, some people I was talking to in chats and that kind of thing, if there were possibly any Ultimate Fallout 4 like Jurjevic variants in here. I don't see that in here. Uh, again, we've got the X-Men 266, Mark Jewelers, a couple of them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can see there, you definitely see those books that we were expecting to see, you know, the Secret Wars 8, X-Men 266, New Mutants 98, that kind of thing. But some surprising books in here too i mean some silver age keys some big books like eight o's of fantastic four twelve seven five of fantastic four two eight five of daredevil one i mean a nine four avengers 57 <laughs> it's just like these aren't cheap books uh this is a pretty expensive list of comics uh so it will be uh, interesting to see how this all plays out yeah the amazing spider-man 300 just a ton of them i mean about 80 of them uh Let's check the census real quick uh, for Amazing Spider-Man 300 because I don't know what the percentage. Something if you've watched Alex the Comic Hoarder, uh, he was talking about the percentage of books that might be impacted. And so that's something that is always worth taking into account here. Now, this is just one person. I know a lot of us think there were probably others that maybe have done this as well. But the, uh, the census for Amazing Spider-Man 300... 
Let's go check that out. So for Amazing Spider-Man 300, I don't know. Let's see. Is this list mostly 9.8s? So it's 9.6s and 9.8s. There's one 9.4. Let's pretend. I mean, it looks like a lot of them are 9.8s. Let's pretend 50 of them are 9.8s uh, out of the about 80. There are 1,543 9.8s of Amazing Spider-Man 300. So 50 of them would be about 3%. That's not a that's not a nothing number. I mean, that is a pretty substantial number of the 9.8s that are put into question. Um, so, I mean, of the 9.6s, it's a smaller amount because it's probably... 20 or 25 out of this 4,000, but that's still about a half a percent. You know, it's like you're, you're rolling the dice and, you know, one in 200 chance, but yeah, the, uh, the 50 out of, uh, 1,543, I mean, a 3% chance that's, I don't know. That's a lot. Uh, in my opinion, that seems like a lot, but if you do own any of the books that are on this list, you know, amazing Spider-Man 194, uh, amazing Spider-Man 238, 300, that kind of thing, just grab your book, get the serial number, plug it in up at the top here and uh, see how it goes. Hopefully you don't own that Amazing Fantasy 15. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see that 6.5 signature series on here. Now, the signature series might be a little trickier, but I'm surprised this says signature. Um, that's strange to me because it's definitely not a signature series because the Stan Lee has written 86 on page one in pen. Maybe it's also a signature. Maybe they had it signed on the outside as well. Uh, this is an old cert number, so I really doubt there's going to be a, a picture of it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, they, let's see, cuts off the 002, 002. There we go. So Amazing Fantasy 15 is a signature. That's strange. Oh, they do have a picture. So signature series. Oh, okay. Yep. So yeah, that's right. So it was signed by Stan Lee in, on, uh, in, in 2018, but then also has the interior signature. That's, uh, that's what's going on there. But yeah, interesting that it actually has a picture. Yeah. Hopefully if you do own one of these books and there is an issue that you're made whole, um, I'm definitely going to check through and see if I own any of these <laughs> that are on this list. And uh, if I do, then I will be contacting CGC too. Just uh, thought I would go over this pretty quickly because I had clicked on this article. I scrolled down here and saw Amazing Fantasy 15, Amazing Spider-Man 2. And I was like, wow, this is not just the books that I was thinking it was going to be. So I thought it would be interesting to just scroll through these for the first time, you know, with uh, everybody else as well. But if you enjoyed this video, found it useful. Please hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, all that kind of stuff. I got more videos over here. If you'd like to watch some of my other videos, subscription button is right here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.